Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader here from Mr. Top Step with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. So, um, in the overnight trade, it's looking like 1274 to 1275 is resistance, which is basically the area of my daily pivot. We're finding support down around 1266, uh, 1267. Uh, which is the area of the three-day pivot. So we're trading in an eight to 10 handle range overnight. The thing that really jumps out to me on the chart is we've still got a really big gap that we made uh, 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 Tuesday morning uh, when we opened. The gap fill area down around 1250, you've got the nine and 20 day pivots which have, have kind of locked up. They've kind of gone in lockstep right down around that gap fill area. So that makes me, um, just wary, not anticipating, but just understanding on the daily chart that we could see a pullback to fill that gap uh, over the next, you know, say, you know, three days or so uh, as the week progresses. And we have employment uh, coming up on Friday, so keep that on your radar. Uh, that's going to be, you know, uh, now that we've gotten through the, the ADP number, uh, it's going to be all about employment uh, through the end of the week. So. Uh, we've got two pivot levels down there right at the bottom of the gap. And if they start acting like magnets, which, which they tend to do when they start to get together, we could see a, a pullback to fill, to fill the gap. So uh, let's do support and resistance. Current trade is 1267.5. Half. On the upside, 1274, 1277, 1280, 1283, uh, 1289 quarter, 1293, and 1297. On the downside, uh, 1265 area, which is your three-day pivot, then 1263, 1258, 1253, the 1249 to 1250 area, which is the nine and 20-day pivots, 1247, and 1243. So have a great day. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader for Mr. Topstep. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Uh, trade them well.